teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Tonight, I have your full SmackDown Live 1000 full show review and results. I'm going to be taking you through the entire show. You know, we, uh, we we're on SmackDown 1000, 1000 episodes of SmackDown, and it was so cool to see the opening intro. I love that to death. That is how the show started off. You know, it really showed how incredible wrestling was for me growing up and all the memories and stuff that I will never, ever forget in my lifetime. And just, it shows why I love this hobby and why I love wrestling so very much and I just thank WWE for all of the amazing entertainment over the years of SmackDown 1000. Guys, so let's go ahead and get straight into the show review. So the show did open with Truth TV, guys. You know, uh, it with R-Truth and Carmella in the ring. You know, they were talking nonsense to the crowd. Then they had a few dance breaks, which I thought was kind of cringy when they did the floss. Then the crowd liked it. They said one more time. I thought that was kind of odd. But anyway, he introduces his guests and out comes Stephanie McMahon. She comes out of course the raw commissioner and you know she brags about being the first general manager of smackdown live you know blah 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 our truth is about to ask her her first question and then shane mcmahon her brother mr here comes the money comes out and you know he's he definitely gets the big pop you know they were definitely booing the crap out of stephanie and uh, they were just going back and forth you know stephanie talking about how much better raw was than smackdown and uh, shane definitely defending smackdown live and then, uh, out of nowhere, here comes the headman. Vincent Kennedy McMahon is on SmackDown 1000. You know, he comes out there. They thank the crowd in the WWE Universe on SmackDown success. And um, he just talks about, you know, entertainment and what they're going to do to entertain the WWE Universe here tonight at SmackDown 1000. And then he randomly says, dance break, and the segment ends. I thought this was a very odd way to open the show. Um, I love our truth and I like Shane, and I'm glad to see Vincent Kennedy McMahon back on television. But, uh... I don't know, I just, there was no point of this. I think it had nothing to do with the show. It was just some filler time. Next up, we had our first action of the night, guys. It was a tag team match between AJ Styles, the WWE Champion, and his opponent for Crown Jewel, teaming up with him, Daniel Bryan, taking on the Usos. And this matchup was a decent little match. You know, this whole thing was just a storyline matchup, meaning that, you know, it was, it was solid little moves back and forth. But the whole point of this was to build for Crown Jewel. At one point in the matchup, Daniel Bryan accidentally misses one of the Usos and clocks AJ Styles. Styles in the face. AJ Styles gets pissed off. He then ends up getting super kicked. Daniel Bryan gets double super kicked and one, two, three. The Usos do pick up the victory over AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. And that was the end of the matchup. You know, again, uh, it got cut off. Most of the match was cut off by commercial and then uh, this whole ordeal happened. So not much of a match really. Uh, it was solid what we got, but nothing too over the top. And AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan just build towards Crown Jewel with the Usos picking up a win. Cut backstage and we have Paige and she's just talking and talking. There's music blaring and everything. You really couldn't even make out what they were saying. But then Vicky Guerrero comes on screen. Teddy Long comes on screen. And then even Johnny Laurinaitis comes on screen, guys. Just sort of, you know, filler stuff. Just trying to get everybody, you know, get nostalgia pops from everybody that showed up for SmackDown 1000. Next up, guys, we had the reunion of my favorite faction of all time, Evolution, with Trip. Triple H, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, the Legend Killer, my second favorite wrestler of all time, Randy Orton, and the Animal Batista. Uh, three of my favorite performers of all time in one ring, and my God, guys, I enjoyed this segment. I felt that it ran a bit long. Um, each man got on the mic. You know, it started off with Triple H. He got in there, and he was talking about, you know, SmackDown 1000 and the Evolution. Great promo by Triple H. You know, he always knows exactly what to say and how to say it, and all his words tied together beautifully. He had Ric Flair coming in there and wooing it up, you know, just to get that pop from the crowd. He was looking great since, you know, his health struggles from a year ago or whatever that was. Randy Orton gets on there, kills it. I loved Randy Orton's promo. You know, he kept it. He was in character, and, you know, he talked about how dominant he was, and he, he crapped on each member of Evolution. He cracked on Triple H. He cracked on Flair. He even cracked on Batista and threw shade at all of them. And, you know, he was talking about how, he, how successful he was. And I think it was awesome that Randy Orton remained in character for this segment. I thought that was beautiful. And then we ended the segment with Batista and he went on a long spill. You know, he was talking. I, I was nervous for him at the beginning. You know, I didn't know if he was going to choke up on his words. But he ended up delivering very well and I was proud of it. And he cut a really good promo. It was a long promo, but I did like it. And at the end, he left it on a great cliffhanger. And he said, you know, he, he talked. He put over each guy of evolution. He put over Ric Flair. He put over Randy Orton like I've never seen before. And then he gets on to Triple H and he says, you know, he's done everything. 14-time world 
champion. He's done this. He's done that. He's done everything except one thing, and that's beat me. And the crowd erupted. He starts eyeing Triple H. Both men get in each other's faces. They're eyeing each other down, guys. I would love to see that match. You know, it's been rumored for a long time that this match is going to take place. I think for sure that Batista is going to be in the Royal Rumble, and they're going to have a match at WrestleMania 35. I guarantee it right now. You heard it. Batista versus Triple H will go down, and this was the uh, seeds planted for that feud going forward. I can't wait for that, and uh, I think that was awesome. So this was a great segment. I totally popped for it. Growing up, Evolution, I loved them, and I, I love this segment a lot. I know it's a nostalgia pop, but it was a great one for me. Next up, we had a World Cup qualifying matchup between Rusev and The Miz, and you knew that the Evolution segment ran a little long when this matchup was literally nothing. Rusev just uh, sort of powerhoused The Miz very early and then The Miz rolled out of the ring. He rolled him back inside the ring and then out came a Aiden English with the distraction and that would lead to The Miz rolling up Rusev and getting the victory. So it will be Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle was also on commentary and the winner uh, The Miz is going to fight Kurt Angle in that first round matchup of the World Cup tournament and then after the matchup Rusev beat the crap out of Aiden English, threw him into the steps the steps, the steps and then we got a backstage shot of Ed we came back from commercial, guys, and we had my boy Edge, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Alter Bridge hits on the speakers, guys, and my God, he has literally the best theme of all time. I can tell you that right now. Edge's theme is just so freaking beautiful. I just, every time it hits, he just, just gets you hyped, bro. But anyways, he comes down for the Cutting Edge segment. He cuts a great promo. He talks about Eddie Guerrero and his memories with SmackDown. And, you know, he's so proud of, you know, where it's come and, you know, his career and where it took him and his career. And out comes his guest, my girl Becky Lynch, my favorite women's wrestler currently, comes out there and um, they go back and forth. And, you know, Edge explains, you know, I know what you're going through, Becky. I know that I've been exactly where you were. I've uh, burned bridges like you're burning right now now and I just want to tell you that at the end you will not like yourself if you do this you know you will not like yourself in the end and um, he, he, he cut a brilliant promo man like Edge still has it you can tell the intensity and the passion he puts into the business every time he steps foot in the ring and um, it was a great promo by Edge Becky Lynch says you know what Edge you're right I don't like myself I love myself and she grins in his face lifts up the title and my god I love Becky Lynch's character where they've taken her she's clearly not a heel guys it's like a twin Stone Cold style and just if they're trying to push her as a heel it will not work but the way they're the way that she is acting and her brilliance on the mic and everything that she is doing right now is an absolute um, is is incredible I'm loving every second of it this segment was super flames like I was super duper uh, popping for this um, she even said get the hell out of my ring get out of the champs ring you know try not to hurt your neck again when you go through the ropes and just the crowd was just like Jesus Christ just Becky letting Edge have it then Charlotte Flair would come out you know she's cutting a promo on Becky she sounded good I like the words that Charlotte used in this promo you know she was like getting in her face and she was like if you love yourself you're gonna love what I do to you right now and she jumps Becky and they go back at it you know they're going at it they're beating the crap at each other the security comes out Fit Finley comes out trying to break up the madness they keep tackling each other and I thought this was a brilliant segment I thought that this is very entertaining stuff I got hyped for them it makes me look forward to their matchup at Evolution and this was great I loved it Becky Lynch great Edge was great and Charlotte stepped it up on the mic here tonight next up we had our next action of the night guys a Smackdown live Tag Team Championship match between The New Day taking on the bar. This was a solid little matchup. We had some great back and forth. Um, I hate all the Degum commercials on this show, but uh, we had a great match. I don't understand why The Bar got this match, considering they've lost to The New Day every single time. But anyways, guys, the biggest moment of the matchup came when um, The Bar took Kofi Kingston to the outside. They were going to put him through the announce table, and then The Big Show comes out of freaking nowhere. Don't understand this at all, and it looks like he's going to help The New Day and Kofi Kingston. He goes up to The Bar, and you know he's in their face, and then all of a sudden he just turns heel for the 868th time. He picks up Kofi Kingston and he slams him through the announce table. And we come back and Big E is freaking out. You know, he doesn't understand what's going on. He turns around and eats a bro kick from Sheamus. And that is it. One, two, three. We have new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. And it is The Bar. And apparently Big Show has aligned himself with The Bar. And I don't really understand that. But we have new SmackDown Live Tag Champions. And the New Day's reign is over. And I think it's the fifth time that The Bar has won the tag titles. And that was it for this matchup. We then cut to the big screen, guys. And we had the GOAT John Cena come 
come on there and cut a promo because he could not make it tonight. And he cut a promo on his career with SmackDown Live and how thankful he was to be on there and start his career there. And he just put over SmackDown Live 1000 like many people have done on this night. And that was all we got of John Cena on the big screen. And our main event, guys, we had a World Cup qualifying matchup between the returning Rey Mysterio taking on the United States champion Shinsuke Nakamura. I thoroughly enjoyed this matchup. It seemed that the chemistry would maybe have been just a little bit off. I would like to see these guys have another match maybe on pay-per-view for the U.S. title or something. I think it would be a lot better. But um, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't too bad. I, I enjoyed it. And um, this matchup was what you thought it would be. Shinsuke Nakamura loses to Rey Mysterio. They were going to let Rey Mysterio lose in his returning match. And uh, you know this match was rushed for time. It had to be rushed for time because uh, immediately after the match, The Undertaker's music hits and he literally walks down the ramp for 38 minutes, gets in the ring and says, I got three words for DX at Crown Jewel. Rest in peace. Leaves the ring. And that's the end of SmackDown 1000. I I thought that was a really lame way to end it. I thought that, you know, like with the epicness that we got with Raw 1000 as far as, I don't know, the shocking returns and stuff, I don't know. It, it was very underwhelming to say the least to end the show. I didn't like the ending at all and um, I don't know, just not a good way to end it, but The Undertaker did show up. We had cool legends all around. I enjoyed the show overall. I feel like it could have been better. Um, as far as in-ring action, not much of anything at all besides Rey Mysterio returning. You had new tag team champions in the bar. You had The Undertaker, Edge, Evolution, Batista. Uh, John Cena wasn't there, but he was on the screen, and yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it. Not too crazy of an episode of SmackDown, but that is your complete review of SmackDown 1000. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you thought of SmackDown 1000, and let me know your thoughts on the show. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.